Hi you guys, I'm Lindsay. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Inside the Hem. This is the Seamwork Fallon Woven Jogger Pants So Along, the final episode. Um, we are going to be finishing our pants today. So we're going to be doing the waistband. We are going to be doing the hem with all the elastic um, and finishing up this pattern together. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right. So now we are going to make the waistbands. So you have your front waistband and your back waistband. One is longer than the other. The front is longer than the back. Yours might not be this dramatic. I just have a very small, small of my back. Um, there is a on the pattern pieces there is one end one long edge that has one notch and then another long edge that has three notches we're going to find the one with the single notched edge kind of skipping around here this is another one of my little tricks but um to go ahead and pre-press this up that way when we go to attach it to the pants this part is already done. We don't have to press it in the round. It's just a lot easier to press it flat. So um, find the one that has only the one notch and press that up by five eighths. Again, doing the little pin trick of measuring up by one and a quarter and then folding up to that line. All right, so now picking up where the instructions start off with just make sure you have your pre-pressed bottom edge on the same side you're going to sew the short ends together folding out that press that you just made and you're going to sew both of the short ends together and then press them open and then you're going to press this whole thing in length half in wait what you're going to fold this whole thing in half lengthwise and then press that as well you know what i just realized you can also pre-press both of the bands in half so if you want to before you as attach the short ends if you want to press this in half lengthwise right and then press this up by the five eighths that way when you sew the short ends you'll already have your kind of pre-press situation happening. But either way, this is where you should land. Um, we've got the back facing me and the front is facing the table. And we are gonna sew the waistband to our pants, right sides together. So again, I've got the front, all right, right sides together, like so. All right, and that notch at the center, goes at the center front, these notches here correspond to the notch that's at your um, at your pocket thing happening. So right there. All right, so you're pressing your seam allowances up to the waistband and because you already have this pre-pressed and the center pre-pressed, all of it should kind of just fall into place and lay beautifully over the seam line of your waistband. So now you're gonna to go to the sewing machine and you are going to top stitch this all the way around the edge of the waistband closest to where it attaches to the pants to, you know, to lock this in. You are gonna leave a gap on the back of about, they say four inches, um, so that you can insert your elastic so yeah, two or three inches so that you can insert your elastic in there. Okay, so now you're gonna take your elastic um, and feed it through. All I have is this skimpy little safety pin. I used to have this really cool like clover tool. I think that I took it to the my where I teach sewing classes and it might be there because I can't find it here although I did just move so who knows but just feed this through any way you can okay so you've got your elastic through now we need to sew up the elastic um, the instructions tell you to make like a square thing. I kind of just like to do a zigzag. I just go back and forth, back and forth, um, zigzagging to get that closed. And then you're going to close up the 
hole in the back of your pants. You're just gonna finish sewing the casing closed, um, encasing the rest of your elastic, okay? Then the top of the pants are done. Make sure nothing's twisted. This might be twisted. Okay, I'm gonna have to work on that. All right, now for the hem, we are gonna do a lot more folding and pressing and making another casing. So this one, it actually might be easier to be inside out, hold on. So we are gonna go quarter of an inch for the first turn, then we're gonna go one and a quarter inches for the second turn, okay? Something like that, that's exaggerating, but you know what I mean. And then you're gonna leave, you're gonna sew around this um, at the edge of the fold and leave a hole for your casing. You're gonna put in one inch elastic, and that's gonna be your hem. So if you are doing my little trickety trick, then you are going to measure a quarter, uh, sorry, half an inch from the raw edge, right? All the way around, obviously. And then you're gonna mark it again at one and a quarter, two and a half, three inches for the next fold line. So do that, it's the same exact process as the casing in the top once you get those folds in. Okay, quick change of plans for me because when I went to hem them, they ended up like way, way, way too short and they looked weird. So I added another casing, I added, you know, to the length. Um, so all I did was make a band like this folded it in half long ways, pressed it. Then I folded it short ways, sewed this, right? So now I had a tube and then I put the whole tube onto the bottom of the pants and sewed around it. Similar to how you would do like a cuff on a sleeve, like you're on a sweatshirt or anything like that, similar to that. And then I just put the same elastic in. So now I have like an elastic cuff more so than just a hem with elastic in it, if that's, if that makes any sense. Um, so I just need it to be this much longer. It might be a little too long now, but we can assess that after I wash it and see what the shrinkage does and all that kind of stuff. But anyway. Well, all good things must come to an end. Am I right? This is it. But we all have a super cute pair of the Fallon jogger pants now. Perfect time as these temperatures start to drop. Um, I had so much fun sewing this one and I hope that you guys did too. If you're really into sew alongs, so you enjoyed this one, learned a few things. Um, I have a whole bunch of them for you guys to check out. I'll have the playlist linked here um, at the end slate and then also in the description box. Um, so you can check them out. I've got a couple others from Seamwork. I've got a lot from the big four. If you want to see some of my future content, future sew alongs, you want to see some of the other stuff that I do um, here on YouTube, be sure to subscribe. Um, but that is going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon.